Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So it's been a long and drama-filled week on Twitch. I mean, imagine getting into drama. Couldn't be me. But I wanted to take time to talk about two big events that happened on Twitch this week. It's something that a lot of YouTubers and streamers have been talking about. Situations where viewers put a streamer in a mildly uncomfortable situation where the streamer then responded in a completely unprofessional and unreasonable way. I'm of course talking about the two situations everyone's thinking about. The Nadia situation where she, of course, doxed a viewer after receiving a hate dono from them. And the we found the body situation where a viewer was put on full blast by a streamer after they shared that their mother had passed away. Yes, of course, these were both followed with Logan Paul styled apology videos that were just completely trash. But also... They just represent a situation, and I hate using terms like these weenie hut junior terms like streamer etiquette, but the bar is so low for dealing with situations like this, and yet they still manage to mess it up so badly. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at these two situations. Now this first situation involves the CSGO streamer Nadia, and through other YouTubers I was able to learn a lot about her very quickly. So she's someone who is very big on the CSGO streaming scene right now. She is someone that has blown up very fast over the past few months. However, as fast as her popularity has grown, so have the allegations that she is a cheater. Meaning she uses things like aimbot and other cheats to, of course, boost her gameplay. Now, again, not a CSGO player, but familiar enough with shooting games, I can still say, through clips I've seen, her crosshair is deadly accurate. Like robotically accurate okay and i'm not here to nitpick whether all these allegations are true or not i'm just doing this to give you guys context as we move forward because in a stream that happened a few days ago she received multiple hate donos from an anonymous user all of which gave her one dollar and said something along the lines of that she's a cheater now how did nadia respond to the situation well, she proceeded to dox this viewer's full legal name multiple times, including taking the time to spell it out so her viewers could do whatever they wanted with it. So you're probably asking yourself, how did she do this? It was an anonymous dono. Well, this is kind of the main reason I want to talk about all this. It's a little bit of a PSA. But when you have a standard PayPal account and you donate to your favorite streamer or make some other sort of business transaction, they receive your money alongside your full legal name yes even shithead maniacs like me get your full legal name when you donate to me like yes i get that's pretty scary like me personally like yes i i love your full legal names they're beautiful full legal names and uh, i appreciate the shekels when i'm actually streaming for once but like i don't want to know your full legal name and that's not me kicking down the little guy and saying, I don't want to get to know you or something. I'm just saying, I know for a lot of people out there, they don't want streamers knowing their full legal name just so they can support them, you know? And this comes with a great deal of trust. You are being given someone's legal name. You have to protect that privacy, even if they're a dick to you. That's just the way it is. That's the right thing to do. Now, there are things you can do to combat this. You can create a business account on PayPal, which is something I have. And you can just literally Google how to do it. It's very simple. And when you have a business account, when you make transactions, the name that is, showing, that is shown is your business name, not your legal name. So basically, you can just use whatever pseudonym you want, like Rev, for example. So that's the best way to protect yourself in these situations. But nonetheless, I just wanted to share that. And now we're going to get into the clip itself. Of course, it's censored because we're going to protect the person's identity. People will donate a dollar to me and they'll hate so I just want to say, Daddy Slayer, I know you used your name as Daddy Slayer, and you, you said, enjoy using cheats, but what you don't know is that when you send me money on PayPal, it actually gives me your full name, so <laughs> Thank you for the dollar dono. <laughs> for whatever reason, you find actual time to do something in your fucking life, because now you look like a fucking idiot. Again. And then space, if anyone wants to know. Thank you for the dollar dono. Appreciate that. That will go towards my McDonald's Happy Meal. So yeah, unsurprisingly, she was banned. 
And despite the very egregious and obvious nature of what she did, she still made this tweet basically saying, didn't do nothing. Like, how did I get banned when I shared this, this viewer's full legal name multiple times in a row and even spelled it out for my viewers? What is this sharing personal information, Wumbo Jumbo? What are they talking about? Like, it was very obvious why she was banned and she was trying to play like she was some victim on Twitter, like that Twitch just came down with a hammer for no reason. I think any sort of punishment in this situation is completely deserved, okay? And many people have spoken out about this because it turns out she would only serve five days of her two week suspension. Now, I've seen other people say that she should have been perma-banned and while I'm not quite sure if that was the fair response, I, I get it at least. I think permabans should be like very exclusively reserved for someone who's doing some really messed up stuff. But I can see how people can classify what she did as some really messed up stuff. So I thought at the very least, she should have served the full two week suspension. And this is just more Twitch favoritism. You're used to it, but yeah. As you can see also on the screen, she made a follow-up apology. Now, I will give her brownie points. She kept it short and sweet, unlike the other guy we're going to watch soon. It was like two and a half minutes and really just Logan Paul quality. She never actually really apologized. She didn't apologize to the person she docked. She apologized to, to Twitch and felt real bad about herself. But uh, yeah, she never apologized to the person. Really just kind of was like... Uh, normally I'm just trolling and I, I think I went a little too far this time and that, you know, she used the excuse of she's blown up so fast. She just doesn't know what she's doing. She's, she's just, she hasn't got it yet. Well, I don't think you could be a day one streamer, or a day 1000 streamer. You should know not to dox your viewer from mild criticism and mild criticism that you should have seen coming. Your biggest reputation, the thing you're known most for right now is the cheating allegation. So obviously you're going to receive some hate for it. And she seemed completely and utterly bamboozled by someone calling her a cheater and decided to pop off. Like, you should have had a preloaded response to anyone saying this stuff. Like, I, I don't get how you end up going off the deep end like this. But nonetheless, I think that's it for this girl. It was just a terrible look and she's been getting dragged all over YouTube and Twitter and rightfully so. So here's the other set of drama involving the streamer. We found the body, which is pretty much how people are feeling when they're going up to this guy's Twitch channel because it's getting absolutely dusted right now by everyone on YouTube and Twitter. But for context, this person, Miss Nerdy Curvy, is a longtime viewer of his stream and she had been missing for some time and when she returned and said, hello, I'm back, the streamer asked, where have you been? Where she will answer that, she has been away from the stream because of different things going on in her life, including the fact that her mother had passed away. This is his response. In Spanish, and it's chef's kiss. All right. Curvy, where the fuck have you been? Oh my God. Well, tell you what, Miss Dirty Curvy, you know what we're not going to do? We're not going to talk about it in my chat because it's Friday, and that is a whole big bucket of bummer. And I'm sorry for your loss. Bummer, bro. I'm not doing that in my fucking chat. Yeah, bro. Your your mother just passed away. Long time viewer. <sighs> Bummer, bro. Like, here's the thing. The base foundation of all this is understandable, okay? I think it is very reasonable for streamers to set boundaries. And if that means people not sharing intimate details of their life that might upset people in the chat... That is completely normal. That's something every streamer has to kind of balance and figure out in their own way. So setting a boundary and saying you don't want to hear depressing news is actually an okay thing. But for someone who is a longtime viewer, or really any viewer for that matter, you should show them some respect, even if you don't want them to go into details and bum everyone out. You can say, hey, I'm really sorry to hear that, but I, I just don't want to bring down the mood right now. We, you have plenty of people. If you need to talk to the mods, you need to talk to other people in the community, do so. If we, or if you want to shoot me a DM, we can talk and, uh, you know, hopefully we can make you feel better after the stream. Something like that. That's not perfect, but it's something better than just berating this girl because her mother had passed away. And she was sharing. He asked the question, where have you been? And she said, I was gone because my mother passed away. You got your answer. Like, you'll go on to here. This guy is insane. Uh, 
Thank you. Well, okay, Miss Dirty Kirby, you said, no, that's fine. You asked, so I told. No, I didn't ask you to tell me the biggest fucking bummer news in the world. I said, hey, what's up? How are you? You know what? Let me give you a little bit of a lesson, Miss Nerdy Kirby. Yeah, let this guy tell you what social etiquette looks like. Let, let this guy tell you what's socially acceptable or not. Let, this will be great. Let's, let's hear it. When something really, really bad is going on in your life, and in a public forum, someone asks you, hey, what's up? How are you? There are two acceptable response, uh, responses. Good and... You know what? I'll make... My model just wigged out. How dare you try to call me while I'm making a YouTube video? Ridiculous. But you hear what he's saying. Basically these hollow interactions where someone is supposed to just never go into any personal detail. And again, you don't have to want personal detail at every turn, right? But at the same rate, don't berate and belittle someone just because they want to share some details about their life that you asked for. That's the craziest part. You asked for this. But we'll we'll keep playing the clip. It doesn't get any better, as you can see. There's still a lot of time left. That's it. Yeah, we'll get through. How are you? Good? Or, you know what? I'll make it through. Awesome. Love to hear it. Damn, bro. See, there you go. Or prompts response. Uh, yeah, I'll be real. That's so toxic. Says, I'm alive. There you go. I'm alive. That's it. Oh, I asked you where you were. Look, Mr. DeCurvy, all I'm trying, I'm just subtly trying to tell you that unloading really heavy news in people's chats on Twitch is not like good etiquette. Yeah, it's not it's good just, etiquette. It's not the place to do it. That's no, all. the only bad etiquette is this response. I think you guys get it. It just goes on and on. But the funny thing is, he also made a whole Logan Paul styled apology except this one is only eight minutes where he basically doubles down you can see the quote which is oh spooky 666 Ooh la la it's a uh, demon time boys but he gets absolutely blasted because he doubles down all he does is basically say she should have known the rules of this community and, and she violated that and i i'm sorry i went a little overboard but she knew the rules like dude shut up Okay, I don't need this guy to tell anyone about social etiquette, okay? He's a complete clown. And yeah, that's really just going to do it for this video. Um, two scenarios that I think show that, yeah, you, streamers are going to be put in uncomfortable situations all the time. But that doesn't mean that the streamer can come back with the most toxic and abusive sort of responses imaginable. These two people are really kind of the definition of streamers who don't appreciate their viewers and don't understand the human aspect of any of this. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was a little bit long, but uh, thanks for trudging through it with me. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.